I know I recently made a guide on how to install multiple mods in Elden Ring. I thought it was going to help people to better understand how easy it is to install mods in this game. However, instead of solving everyone's doubts, I only created more questions. For that reason, today I present to you the definitive Elden Ring modding guide where I will address everything you could imagine about modding. This with the main purpose of making you independent when it comes to install and test mods. So without anything further to say, let's begin with the tutorial. There are many of you guys that ask me why it doesn't work for me, like the mod specifically decided to bully you and not work for you. The things are not like that guys, if the mod is not working for you, then simply you are doing something wrong. So I will fix every single one of your problems in this video for good, I mean mod problems. First of all, disable your antivirus before downloading and installing any mod. You can even exclude your downloads folder from the antivirus to stop the program from putting your files on quarantine. The mods aren't viruses at all, I'm pretty sure you have way more viruses from your current websites. So don't come to me with BS like, oh, I will disable my antivirus cause it's probably a Trojan. Trojan my bolt. Then close any overlay program like Riva Thunder. For some reason, this type of programs causes the game to crash mid game or sometimes it doesn't even start. You just have to close it when you are playing Elden Ring with mods. So don't worry, you don't need to disable the program forever. Now you have to be sure that your Elden Ring executable file is not on run as admin. If it's set like that, unmark it and save the change. I don't know why having the X file on run as admin caused the game to not start, but I am here just to tell you how to make it work. To do this, you have to locate your main game folder. If you don't know where it is, just open your Steam library, go to Elden Ring, Manage, then go to Properties, Local Files and click on Browse. It will automatically send you to your game folder. Remember that your Steam client must be open every time you start your modded Elden Ring. This doesn't mean you have to start the game through Steam, it's just another requirement to start the game properly. Don't forget to make a backup of your save file, so when you want to play without mods, your save will be there for you. Also, if you are using a cracked version of Elden Ring, don't ask me how to install the mods. If you are smart enough to install the game without paying for it, you'll manage to install the mods by yourself. With that being said, let's jump straight to the next part of the video. There are three main types of mods out there you should know to avoid confusion and mistakes when you want to install them. We will address the installation process of each type of mod in the next part of the video. First, we have the DLL mods, which are mods that work thanks to a tool called Mod Loader. These files work together to get specific tweaks in the overall game. The main key difference of this type of mods is that you can install as much DLL mods as you want as long as they do not change or modify the same game code. The most important example of this type of mods is the Seamless Scope mod and the First Person Elden Ring mod. These type of mods are very useful and they are very easy to install. Then we have the Game Files mods. These mods work thanks to the Mod Engine 2, which is a program that allows you to change game aspects temporally when you start the game. What this program does is to load the modified files over the original game files. It's such a great tool because your game files will remain the same, so when you don't want to play with mods anymore, you will just have to start the game through Steam normally. Something important to say is that Mod Engine 2 automatically turns off the online mod and disables the anti-cheat. You can use this tool to start the game even if you just install DLL mods. This way you won't need to install any anti-cheat disable or stuff like that. Everything sounds really good with this kind of mods, right? But the main problem is that many of modern giant 2 mods comes with a file called regulation bin, which makes the mods to work properly with the current version of the game. This means that if you want to install two mod engine 2 mods, but both of them has a regulation bin file, it simply will not work. Basically, you can just play one mod of this type. If you want to try another one, you will have to uninstall it and install the new one. And finally, we have special mods. Mods that require a specific installation process and also require some extra tools to work properly. The thing with these mods is that you are going to have to read the installation instructions because although they are not too many, I could not explain each one installation method. However, I will give you an example that will allow you to understand the basic of installing this type of mods, so you won't have any troubles when you try to do it by yourself. Yes, now I will show you four different processes, one per type of mod, and one where you will be able to install every type of mods together. You can find every tool you need in the description of this video. And now that you are down there, drop a like, subscribe and comment something, so that YouTube will recommend this video to more people and they will finally be able to enjoy Elden Ring mods. Let's go!
To install the LL mods, you will need two things, a tool called Elden Ring Mod Loader and the mod or mods you want to install. In this case, I will install these six mods together. Seamless scope, first person mod, skip the intro, adjust camera distance, fix the camera and adjust the FOV. First of all, download the files, extract it. Take the contents inside of the mod loader folder, copy it and paste it inside your main game folder. Now take the seamless code folder and paste it inside your game folder. Open the seamless code folder and take these two files. You have to move them to the folder mods. Then for the rest of the mods the thing goes easier. Just copy each folder contents inside the mods folder located in your main game location. Finally, you have to set up your mods. Each one came with a .ini file that you can modify according to your preferences, but with the seamless scope it is necessary that you set a password. Ok, you have successfully installed DLL mods, now to launch the game you have to disable your anti-cheat, but instead of downloading a program with that specific purpose, you are going to download the mod engine too. You can start the game using this tool, which in my opinion is the best tool created for mods. To install game files mod, such as moveset, armors or big scale overhauls, we will need two things, the mod engine 2 and the mod we want to install. I will use the current combo warriors because I know the mod very well and it will be easy for me to show you how it does work properly after the installation process. But you can use whatever mod you want. It could be the Cleaver's Moveset mod pack, the Reforged mod, the Convergence mod, moreover this one already came installed with the mod engine too. So pick up your favorite and follow my instructions and I promise you will be fine. Extract both your mod and the mod engine too. Open your mod folder and copy the contents to paste it inside the mod engine 2 mod folder. In the mod engine 2 folder, you are going to look for a file called launchmod underscore eldenring.bat. Create a desktop shortcut for this file and that's it, you have successfully installed Carrion Combo Warriors. Just double click on the bat file to launch the game and you will see everything is working just fine. Now, if you only want to use the mod engine 2 as a launcher for DLL mods, just don't install anything on the mod folder and launch the game. It will disable the anti-cheat and turn off the online mode and it will load the DLL mods as well. As you can see, this is pretty easy to do. You don't need nothing but to pay a little bit of attention to the instructions I'm giving to you. Now, let's go with the special mods. In this case, I will use as example the item and enemy randomizer. These mods require a very specific installation process, as well as three specific tools. You need the mod, the mod engine too, and you have to download and install the following program to avoid glitches. Open the randomizer and select your game directory. Now, clicking where it says randomize items and enemies, you will notice that in the randomizer folder, new folders will be popping out of nowhere. These folders are your game files randomized, so you need to copy those folders inside your mod engine to mod folder and launch the game. As you can see, it is working pretty fine.
Finally, let's put all together. If you have a brain inside of your skull, you will notice that we can run DLL mods and mod engine to mods together thanks of how the programs work. So to do this, just follow the tutorial until the randomizer point. There is where the things change. First of all, install your DLL mods. Then install your current combo warriors, reforge or whatever mod you want. Then open the randomizer. Now we have to do something before we click on randomize item and enemies. You are going to click where it says merge other mod and click where it says select folder to merge. Then look for the location of your mod engine to mod folder. Open it and click on select folder. Now click on randomize item and enemies. Wait till the program say it's done. Then move the folders I'm selecting to the mod engine 2 mod folder, including the regulation bin, paste it and replace it. Now you have successfully installed Simless Scope, 5 more DLL mods, Carry and Combo Warriors, or the mod you prefer and the item and enemy randomizer for the maximum Elden Ring mod experience. As you can see, it works perfectly fine, but don't leave yet since there are very important things you must know about mods. Things that I will not answer in the comment section since I already did in the following and final section of this video. The mods are safe to install and play and it will not get you banned if you follow this tutorial correctly. I should not have to say this but mods only work on PC. If you are on console you will not be able to play mods. I have heard that some mods can be played on a Steam Deck but I can't confirm this information since I have not a Steam Deck. The mods work with a very specific version of Elden Ring. This means that when the game gets a new patch, almost every single mod that uses a regulation bin needs to be updated, otherwise it won't work properly. A very good example is the Carrion Combo Warriors by Pipe SKR, also known as the Virgin mod. When you are playing this mod in the newest patch of Elden Ring, you will notice that the moveset work but the attacks deal no damage. This is because the mod is updated. To be clearer, let's say the mod is updated to the patch 109, but Elden Ring gets updated to 109. 9.1. The regulation being of your mod is still on 109, but the whole game is on 109.1, so the mod simply will not work until the mod's author decide to update his mod to the current Elden Ring patch. In other words, if it doesn't work, it doesn't mean you are doing something wrong, you just have to wait. In the Nexus mods Elden Ring mods page, there is an option that says explore all mods the mods will be sorted by downloads. I suggest you to change it to date published or to last updated. In both sections you will find the newest mods and the ones that have been recently updated. Also, every mod creator tend to write on his mods description to what Elden Ring version it is updated. If you don't like this to happen, just disable the automatic updates on Steam and update the game until the newest version of the mod is available. About merging mods, I do not recommend it. It's a very complicated task, it takes too much time and I don't see the need of having having multiple mods of the same type combined together. Each mod has its own charm. If you get bored of playing one mod, simply uninstall it and try a new one. There are some mods like the Convergence mod that came with an installer. Don't be afraid to use it. They won't mess up the world we did before. If you follow the installation instructions, you will notice that the mod is just a mod engine to folder with the mod already installed. This guide is a fundamental on how to install mods. In the future, there will be new mods that will probably need a different method. Just be sure to read the installation instructions page. Follow the steps and and you will be fine, but if it is too complicated, I will update a new video. So don't worry and have fun playing with the multiple and incredible mods available out there for your joy. Thanks for watching, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, that way you will help me to grow as content creator. This is my full time job, so thank you. My name is Carlos and it was a pleasure to talk with you again. I will see you in the next one.